or you responded there for a reason. You have to react to that reason in, in a professional manner. And once it's done, that the, the public can't deal with that situation until you get there. Once it's done, then you then it's over with. It's that famous quote, right? Those that I fight, I don't have to hate. And those that I serve, I don't have to love. I just do it in the mm. middle. Um, it's on Amazon, Kapikaze. Make sure you guys get your copy. But what inspired you to write this book? Uh, real simple. A lesson learned should be a lesson shared. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's literally as cliche as it sounds. It's literally, you know, what I wish somebody had told me then. Um, it, it's not a love affair with policing. Obviously, it's geared toward helping police officers, sure, right. to manage, right. like I said, and, and, and the trajectory of the career. But it's also meant more for the loved ones. You know, you, you know how sometimes you want to get that message to your loved ones and there's that disconnect. Uh, mm -hmm. But it only takes it takes that same message, but for an outside source to deliver it. So I figured if I could help, if I could help with the loved ones and then ironically, and I've taken heat for this to appeal to the opposition, not to get them to under to, to start flying a blue line flag, but right. to just maybe hear it, especially from. You know, I, I am of rank, so I'm not going to give it to you while we do it perfect all the time. But right. maybe just maybe to offer that insight as to this is how this is how, why, what. And I figured if I could do that, then maybe I left my thumbprint on it. You know, there's mm -hmm. so many of us out there. I'm not special because I wrote a book. There's so many of, of us out there that have a story to tell. But we're minimized to that that one time I was chasing that criminal. There's so much more to us, bro. Yeah. With the newer generation of law enforcement coming in, uh, what what do you tell them please tattoo it on your heart that you work for yourself you work with abc police department oh wow and the reason okay. why is because if you do it that way then you know you're subscribing to your own personal values your resiliency mm -hmm. your work ethic your work attitude your self-discipline there's going to come times of tranquility where the, you know, things are going great. I mean, you can't miss, you know, every shot you throw up goes in the basket. And then there's going to come times that you're going to feel like no matter what you do, it's yeah. raining above your head. Yeah. So the only way to navigate that is not to point the fingers outward and blame. Well, he said, well, she said, well, he did, well, she did. Mm -hmm. Look to within, go back to your source and go back to the fact that you work for yourself. What did you sign up for yourself to do or to not do? And mm -hmm. I think that's the secret sauce and it's the key to longevity, which is what we're seeing now. See, I don't believe that we have a recruitment crisis. I believe we have a retention crisis that we've mm -hmm. created ourselves. And I think that if we don't fix that, who the hell do you think is talking to the next in line? It's us. Yeah, absolutely. So we you don't have to worry about sign on bonuses. You got to know what did you already sign on for, right?